Good morning, Service Alliance community. How is everybody doing? Good this morning. Good morning. Tuesday? How, How are you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You doing? <laughs> we got. I got to do that with a good Chicago thing. You know that that could be our Illinois thing. How you doing? You doing? <laughs> or is that or is that more New York? I have no clue. It's a Joey thing. That's all I know from friends. How yeah. you doing? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not doing that with you, Jason. <laughs> oh, go on. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. How you doing? <laughs> That's funny. How many times can we do that in this podcast today? <laughs> I think we might lose viewers. <laughs> I don't know. Let let let's try it out. You know, I mean, we got Jeremy chiming in. How hey, you Jeremy, doing? How you doing? <laughs> you no, know, we got Adam. How you doing, Adam? How you doing. <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun one today. Yeah, they're all fun. Yeah, if you can't have true. fun, then what are you doing? Why? Why are you even bothering in this true. life? Right. Very true. Very true. We we got this life given to us, and we might as well enjoy it. Got to have some fun. Yeah. Got to have some fun. How do you have fun? How do I have fun? Yeah. Oh yeah. man. I, blank, you know what? Blank. Or should we talk about that later? I, I almost, you almost caught me off guard. Like, I was oh, like, really? do I really have to think about it that hard? Wow. But I don't, you know, yeah. once I just kind of relax and we'll talk about that. Yeah. All right. So, Sounds good. Sounds good. But, uh, we got another one. Pinfish. Pinfish don't know who Pinfish is. How you doing? How you doing, Pinfish? Pinfish. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Pinfish. That, that sounds like a road name for a motorcycle. So, so like hey, Jason, Pinfish. Jason is Southern Illinois. I'm Northern Illinois. Oh, a Yankee. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you know, I get called a Yankee. <laughs> Do you well, just, yeah. Just, I mean, just because you're Illinois. in this state, it yeah. counts. I'm above the Mason Dixon line. So But know. if you if you've ever been to Illinois, anywhere in southern Illinois, and then you know, I live in the third largest city in Illinois, Joliet. And if if you're in northern Illinois compared to southern Illinois, it is like they're like two different states. Hundred percent. So you could you could literally slice Illinois right down the middle and it's yeah, from Southern Illinois. Different. I kind of wish that would happen. <laughs> I know, right? I would yeah, move like, in a heartbeat. Chicago just needs to be, yeah. Well, that oof, Chicago that's, should be its own, its own yeah. little country. Yeah. Not even, not even. So I have friends from all New over the York country. York and Chicago and LA and make them their own country. Yeah. I have friends from all over the country that come and visit us. And when they get here, they're just like, well, oh, this is not what I, I was expecting. Cause, you know, in Southern Illinois, we got like over 100 wineries. We have waterfalls. We have the Little Grand Canyon. We have Garden of the Gods. I mean, there's all kinds of hiking, and it's a totally different. You get to Northern Illinois, it's like cornfields and windmills. We get sewer plants. We get <laughs> yeah. We yeah. get we get the Calsag River, which is like the dirtiest river on earth, <laughs> full oh. of carp. We are coming to Chicago soon. Uh, we got some tickets for the Dave Matthews Band, thanks to one of our clients. Yeah, so, you were saying that. Yeah, That's pretty so uh, there's six of us going to go up there. We got a bed and breakfast that we're going to stay at for the night. But kind of yeah. stoked about that coming up there. Make it official. Be become that Yankee, like Jeremy says here. He says you are you are a Yankee. You are a Yankee to say. <laughs> I mean, I, he's he's in Texas, so yeah. I don't know the big bucket head, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Move to Wisconsin. Yeah, well, I mean, you can move to you can become a cheesehead. Cheese Go to head. Wisconsin. What is Wyoming? Because that's like where we're looking to move into. What is Wyoming? What do they call people? Wyoming? Wyoming? Yeah. I don't I don't even know. I mean, it's it's so irrelevant that you can't oh. call it anything. There's like wow. nothing there. I mean, there's like, what's cows, in Wyoming? Does does anyone actually rocks? say, hey, you know what? Let's <laughs> take the kids to Wyoming this year. Well, me and Shane nobody, went out there. Nobody says that. Let's go to I'll Wyoming. What, they're very business friendly. 
no corporate tax, no income tax. Uh, the sales tax for Casper was only like 4% with another percent going somewhere else, 5%. Uh, I met a friend out there. He's got uh, 10 acres and a 1,900 square foot house. He only pays $1,400 a year in property taxes. So, yeah, compared to Illinois, it's like, I'll live in Wyoming. Well, yeah, I mean, we're, we're in such a liberal state. It's unreal. Everything's so high here. Five months out of the year, it's winter out there. And we're talking harsh winter. Bad winds. They got yeah, 40 inches of, of snow. Of, of spring probably out there. <laughs> One month of summer. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah, from a business perspective, it's pretty friendly, but Weather-wise, yeah, you know what? Right. Be yeah. be worth renting a little little two hundred and fifty dollar office just to say your corporate's there. Anywho, well, we'll leave that one for another day. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, we're in that process. <laughs> Twelve dollars for Canon folders at Walmart when I went to went over ten years ago to Illinois. Yeah, hey Kelly. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing, Kelly? Oh, man. They're going to call us the Illinois mobsters from now hey. on or something. We're going to we're going to hey. get nicknames for sure. I'll, I'll have a cigar. All right. Here. Let's know. let's pray us in real quick. And uh, oh, she was saying Wyoming. Oh, twelve dollars for Canada. Holders. Huh. Interesting. Mm. Hey, if I don't have to pay any corporate tax or income tax, I'll pay 12 bucks for a can of folder. <laughs> yeah. Either way, you're paying somebody somewhere. Somebody, somebody's hey, I, getting money. I prayed last week. You want to do this week? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Go for it. Let's do it. All right. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for, for this crowd today. I want to thank you for this community. I'd like to thank you for blessing us with Jason this morning. Um, please be with us as we go out throughout our day and protect us and keep us safe and keep our heads clear. We're talking about clarity today and we all know that we need you a lot to keep our heads clear. There's so much that can clutter our minds. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Ah, Jeremy says he's going to call us the Blues Brothers. We're gonna, we're in a you know what? I think we could pull that off with some jackets and some shades. Yeah. Maybe at the uh, regional meetup, July 22nd in Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Nice, nice way to plug that yeah. in. Yeah. Hey, I feel special because you said thanks for blessing us with Jason this morning. That's oh sure. Yeah. Sure. You are a blessing. You're you're a blessing to me. You know, yeah. I I really enjoyed having you on last week with me and you you could you could actually be my new permanent co-host if you you know there's, if you'd there's like. Talk. There's you know, talk. There's an, there's an offer there, you know. Do so I get paid as much as you do? Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, that pays. It, you know what? That I'm in. I'll pay you as much as TK was making. Okay. My permanent right. co-host too. He he's <laughs> He's a little higher above me, yeah. you know. All right. So, well, I got to work my way to TK money. Got it. Nah, I mean, I mean, goals. You got to have goals. Yeah. You know, there's there's room there's room for you to move up. You got to have some clarity on where you want to yes. go. So today, yeah. let's talk, let's talk about this. How do you guys and gals out there? Kind of clear your mind. How do you how do you do the reset button when you, when you're just going and going and going and going and going all the time, and we kind of get our get our mind all cluttered and muddled up with all the stuff that we've. I mean, we've got to think about you know maybe employees, payroll. You're thinking about inventory. You're thinking about you know taxes. You're thinking about all the stuff that you've got to do, right? So how do you what do you guys do to help yourself keep your mind clear and hit that reset button? Like I'm not I'm not just talking taking a vacation because I don't think taking a vacation once a year is enough. 
No. Because I I mean you almost need a vacation from your vacation type of thing. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> always says that. Yep. And yep. as a business owner, you never really disconnect. I mean, I I just don't know any business owner that can mentally do that. Especially when you're so a business owner. What do you do to kind of like separate yourself just enough to where you can start thinking more clearly and then hit that reset button and then you can come back with with a lot more clarity in your business and what you should be doing, you know, and making the right decisions because if you're not doing that, how how can you make the right decisions all all the time, you know, on a consistent basis? So what do you do, Jason? Well, I connect because uh, when you're in business with your spouse as well, it's even tougher to get away from. I mean, even if we just go sit in the hot tub in the evening, it's you're you end up talking about business. You know, we tried to put a, a rule in place past our our bedroom door, which is you know uh, for us it's it breaks off the master bedroom, the master um, bathroom, and then even outside is the hot tub on the patio past that door we don't talk about business and that lasted for oh maybe a week <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna say how how'd that work out for you yeah yeah it, it didn't last very long i mean we you tried see, you needed to tried have that. a bet on you needed to have some kind of wager on whoever whoever the first is to talk about business loses yeah you know mm-hmm. and and make it worthwhile yeah you know? yeah hmm that, that so, might have made it last a little longer than a week. <laughs> I think I think mini breaks help. Mini, as in like tiny, like this mini Yeti mic. You know, it's mini, right? So mini breaks help. Uh, and, and for me, a mini break is, you know, we I'm on my third Jeep. And right now I've got the tops off. I've got the doors off. And just taking off on a drive. Uh, in the evening. Last night, we went to a business mastermind group at our church, five o'clock. Afterwards, Shannon and I went to a tap house and had uh, uh, some burgers and drinks afterwards with a Jeep off, just took a drive. Um, we have adventure days with our, our family where we take off for a day and down here we go explore. So we may go to Fern Cliff and walk out to the waterfalls or we may go to Garden of the Gods or you know, we may just take off and drive off into another state for a couple hours. You know, it's a beautiful thing about where we're at. A couple hours, we're in a different state down here. So it's it's nice. But I think a lot of mini breaks really help. We have a motorcycle. I've got an O2 Goldwing. And so I do a lot of riding. Uh, I've got five different motorcycle rallies we've got planned for this year. I've already been to one. And for Shana and I, we take off, we get in the RV and I motors, I pull the trailer I pull a bike behind it in the trailer and we end up being kind of like the, the, the home team, right? Everybody comes and I cook breakfast and I cook dinner. Um, and so everybody always congregates at our, our place. And so we stay on site at these rallies and we just, we have a blast and, um, not everybody can do that. Not everybody has an RV, not everybody has a Jeep, but where can you go walk, right? Where can you go take a hike? You know, so think of the mini breaks, I think, mini, again, not many as in multiple, but many type of things you can do just on the whim. I think that's one way to take a clarity break for sure. Um, another one I've told people in our office, if you need to take a break, you know, on your lunch break from our office down to our park, you walk one time around the track and back, it's exactly one mile. If you're taking a slow walk, that's your lunch break, right? Uh, if you're a fast walker, it may only take you 10, 15 minutes, maybe less than that, you know, to walk all the way down there and back. But it's a good clarity break. It gets you in the sun, gets you some good vitamin D. So it's a good way to take a, a little bit of a clarity break in that. So that's, I think, some of the mini stuff that I can think off off my head. Mini, again, mini. How about you? Uh, when I was when I was more in the corporate world, you know, we, we got our one or two week, you know, um, vacation time, Mm -hmm. depending on how long we've been there. And we would, 
definitely go and and take that but it was yeah. like then you got to wait another year before you can do it again right yeah and yeah. you you really by the by the time you got to your vacation time you were so burnt out mm -hmm. and so stressed out and you just wanted to leave and never come back yeah and i think i think that's the danger part and I, and i think that model of of doing business and the way people you know allow their employees to or kind of like are rigid in that structure that employment structure like that i think that's where i i guess uh you kind of lose you could lose a lot of really valuable employees that way yep and mm -hmm. so what we started doing is we started taking these you know what i call you know either staycations or mini vacations and they'd just be some weekend things yeah you know and we would just go away for the weekend and we didn't have to go far you know um like my wife and i this weekend we reset but we we ultimately ended up resetting separately <laughs> she she went to my daughter's house to, to spend time with the grandkids friday night and they live an hour and a half away from us i went down to the river to my river property which is like 35 minutes away and i camped the entire weekend and i had a lot of work yeah. to do down there so i just busted my butt and did all the work down there mm. that needed to be done so that when we all go camping down there everything's done and it's yeah. there's no work to do while i'm there because I'm, <laughs> I'm always busy doing the the stupid little work stuff so i figured i'd just spend the whole weekend doing it well in doing that, it kind of got me away and I had so much other work to do down there that was like physical labor that I don't normally do in my job. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was good and healthy for me to do it, but I didn't think about work while I was doing that stuff. Like I just mm -hmm. didn't think about anything I had to do with my job and yeah. it was a really good mental break for me. That's good. And like, like my wife said that it was a good mental break for her being with the grandkids and being distracted, you know, and we need that. Yeah. You know, and then here in, uh, I think in next month we're going to Tampa for just a weekend thing. You know, my daughter's like, Hey, how, how about we go to Tampa, you know, and go to a beach down there. And we're like, okay, so nice so we're going down for like a, a Friday through Sunday thing, you know, yep. nothing big. We're just fly in, have some fun, fly out. Cool. You know, but it's, it's these little things that in many trips that we take, um, yeah. that really help out hmm. a lot. Yeah. We, uh, <clears throat> have people all the time. It's like, you guys are constantly going somewhere and doing something. And we, we tend to, a lot of our trips, so like the last I don't know, month and a half or so, we did about 7,000 miles, but three of those trips were business related and we had fun around them personally. And then one of the trips was specifically a motorcycle rally, had nothing to do with business. However, uh, in doing some coaching and mentoring, one of my sessions I had to do was one of the days we were gone. And so thankfully, I do that remotely. So I was able to sit there in the in the camper and was able to uh, do what I needed to do on the coaching and mentoring. But so, yeah, I mean, we travel a lot, but I'm thankful for the job that we have that we can do a lot of the stuff we do remotely, you know? Yeah. So, clarity. Hang on, hang on, Jason. We got somebody that, that popped in late and said, good morning, guys. So we got it. Uh, we got to do it proper. Nicholas, how, how you doing, Nicholas? <laughs> I'd like to hear some from some of these people that are on here. What do you do for clear? Yeah. Yeah. What are you, what, what are, are all you comment? people doing as business owners? Like where do you where do you go? Let's let's hear what you do. What's your method? How do you keep your sanity? Yeah. How do you keep your clarity? Clarity. What's, What's your reset song? button? It's a new song by John Mayer coming out in the spring of 2024. Sing, clarity. Sing it, Jason. Go ahead clarity. and sing it. Clarity. <laughs> oh boy yeah 
So, Forbes so Jason, what do you what do you find <clears throat> the most challenging? Because because you're married, you know, you're yeah, you're, it's challenging. You're both, you're both like in the business, like, and yeah. it's it's run out of the same building you live in, you know. Uh, both so bus, it's yeah. like you can't get away from it. You know, yeah. it's it's really hard. And I and I'm in the same boat, you know, with with my business. It's it's my home, you know, it's my business, and it's like how do you how do you how do you separate from that sometimes? You know, because it if you're anything like me, it drives you crazy sometimes. Yeah, it's it's hard to separate it. Um as the business is growing, it's becoming a little bit more easier to do in separating it, but like literally, so we have four and a half acres, right? And our office is literally 80 feet away uh, from our house, but we are actually in the process of starting an in-house daycare. And within the month, we will have a daycare now that's in our finished basement. So, and that's a benefit for a lot of the, the moms and dads who work for us that they're, you know, if their daycare shuts down for the day, they usually have to take the day off of work. Well, that's financially that can hurt them. So, so we thought, hey, what better way than to start a daycare? So there will be kids in our house from seven to six thirty every day. But so you you just day. decided to take the excuses away. Is yeah, what it is. Exactly. You know, we're we're looking yeah. for the ways we can. Um, you know, one of our core values is we grow great people. You know, and it's how do we? Yeah, you see the core values behind me. Everything we do, we really relate some way back to our core values. And anyway, I, I don't know how to separate. I, I mean, we've been, this is our, our service detectives is a third generation electrical business, right? And it's always been home-based. We had an office for a while. Um, and then we moved out of that just because the expense of it. So we've always had it home-based type of business. So this business mm -hmm. being on the same property, while it's, it started out as a home-based business, it's grown into a totally separate building. And as we continue to grow, it's like, it's not going to be on our same property for very much longer. I mean, it's a 2,400 square foot building all on its own. Um, and it's just crazy. So yeah, it's hard to separate. Andy, our CEO does a really good job because the camera's inside the office. Uh, he gets alerts at certain times of the day. Like if we go in there past like 7 30, 8 o'clock, he gets alerts on his phone and he'll be texting and be like, What the heck are you doing in the office at this time of day? It's like, go home. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, but um, yeah, what was the original question? <laughs> Mind skirt. How do we how do how do we do it as a business? And being in married. Um, yeah, I don't know. That one's a tough one for me because even in our last office building. We was in an actual office location, but the upstairs we converted into uh, a, an apartment and it was 4,000 square foot, if you can call it an apartment. But the whole upstairs was our living quarters, our living space. And uh, there was five of us living there at one point. And then downstairs was all the offices, you know, for service detectives. And then uh, we, yeah, we moved out of that into this location. So. We've always been kind of a home based. I mean, our next move will be literally have to be a separate office location from uh, the property. Uh, it's just we're getting to that point where it's going to have to be that way, whether that's out of state or whether that's here on in Illinois. I don't want to put too much more money in Illinois. So for mm -hmm. us, it's always been tough to separate as a as a married couple, but it's really the min the the mini breaks as we talked about that kind of helps keep us sane <laughs> yeah yeah so how do you how do you deal with uh i guess you already mentioned like you've got your borders in your house like that mm -hmm. bedroom door is the border you know and your 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 hot tub is a is a suggested border that didn't yeah. work out for you, but yeah, right. Um, uh, how do how do you just say you know what we're going here this weekend, and 
you know, I don't want to think about work. I don't want to yeah. think about this. And like, it's got to be really, really hard in your situation to not talk about work because obviously yeah. your, your wife is, is the one running the business along with you and everything. Yeah. So, um, how, how do you, how do you, I guess, not talk about it? Like yeah. that's gotta be so hard. It is. It is. Uh, I think the easiest times that we've had that we don't talk about the business a lot is on when we're on the motorcycle. Um, she's typically reading. <laughs> she likes to read and everybody's like, are you reading while you're on the back? Yeah. She reads a lot of books while we're on the, but we're on a lot of motorcycle rallies. We're constantly doing and moving, you know, for the most part, um, except for sometimes during the day, maybe nothing's going on at the rallies. Uh, and then we're just kind of sitting chilling uh, not doing much. So I think it's when we're consistently busy on these trips or like if we're on a family vacation type of thing where we we usually don't plan anything ahead of time when we go on family vacations. So we get there, we figure out what's around us and, hey, let's go do this. Let's go do that. So yeah. for us, it's it's keeping busy even on the vacations. So what you said earlier, you need a vacation from the vacation. That's a lot of what happens. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Especially when you, how many kids do you have? Uh, I don't know. I lost count. Like eight, nine, 12. Yeah. No, we, have, <laughs> we have two of our own. Uh, we have one that we've adopted and then we've hosted many exchange students. So we we say we've got uh, a lot of kids all over the world. It's the, the shadow and family worldwide. Um, no. We had gotcha. a we had seven living in our house at one time when we first moved into this house and uh, seven of us in here. It was Shane and myself, our two boys, two exchange students. One was from Kyrgyzstan. One was from Indonesia. And then our mother-in-law, our mother-in-law lived with us, with us for three and a half years after her divorce. So wow, that was, that was fun. So you got, you got three permanent ones. <laughs> yes. Yes. So right now three, three non-rotating. Well, right now, uh, we have one exchange student. She goes back here in a couple of weeks. We have the one that we adopted from Thailand. And then uh, we have one, our, our youngest son, our oldest son moved out and he's got an apartment now. So, uh, okay. Hey, Kelly. Did we say hi? How you doing, Kelly? How you doing? Mini brakes works best for her. She always take a drive in the old Chevy. Yeah. It's. I mean, it, do, it doesn't take much. I mean, it really doesn't. It's it's the point that you have to be purposeful in making the decision to take a break. Yeah. You know, I even, even some mini good. breaks during the day. Like, what yep. if, if you're running like gangbusters and you're not taking a, a little mini break during the day, you know, yeah. like, there's a, re there's a reason that lunch... It's usually in the middle of the day. It's not just because you're hungry. It's a, it's a break. Yeah. And yeah, and sometimes you just need to like get out of your service vehicle, get out of somebody's home and just drive by a park and get out and just walk yep. for 15, 20 minutes, you know, half an hour, just get out and just go somewhere and, and disconnect. You would be amazed at what that would do for your mental health throughout the day and your happiness, you know, going in and out of somebody's homes. So you're not just exhausted and burn out all the time. Yeah. Having a good night out with some friends, that always helps. Uh, yeah. Game, game beer. Night. Beer helps sometimes. Bourbon. <laughs> cigar. Yeah. Bourbon. Yeah. I'm a uh, bourbon. I'm a bourbon beer guy. Yeah. I'm a, the, I'm, a, I'm a not just a bourbon and beer guy. I'm a bourbon a, beer guy. All right, have you had the Four Roses one? The Four Roses bourbon. No, beer. I haven't had that. That one's pretty good. That one's not bad. I'm, a, I'm not I'm a beer a guy. Fan of Bourbon County. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. When we go on, Bourbon County is made here, and it's amazing. Yeah. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. But I digress. Sorry. Yeah. Game night. <laughs> we have game nights often, and uh, yeah. it's us with other couples, and we just play some board games or something, or. 
like uh, a couple weeks ago, I was kind of in a poker mood, so I got a bunch of guys together for a couple nights. We had poker night with the guys. So Shana's got, um, I think her and Jenny's trying to plan some kind of like woman's trip, gal trip or something like that. But I, I saw know. that yesterday. I th- saw them talking about like you just in in one of our chats. You know, they just started talking about like, well, I can do this day, I can do this day, and you know on the morning grind. And then they're like, unless we, unless we both plan a girl's trip and we're not available on the same day. And then now all of a sudden they're actually talking yeah. about it. And well, that's cool. I, mean, so, I, I try once a year. Um, I've got a real good group of guys and we go down to current river and we camp. So we haven't done it for a couple of years. So we had a trip plan uh, in July and then may have to shuffle one week or two because I've got to get some training done for some stuff. But um, but anyway, there's five or six of us go down to Current River, float down the river, and we end up sitting around and um, grilling out, smoking cigars and drinking bourbon and uh, have a great weekend, right? It's a good break. It's a good break. And a lot of us are, are business guys. So one of them's a doctor, one of them's a, a banker. Uh, me and then there's a couple other guys. Uh, one's a he works in a factory over at Ison. So yeah, it's just a, a very eclectic group of guys. That's for sure. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best. Yeah, I say doctor. I mean, can you call a PA a doctor? I guess a PA is a doctor, right? I guess. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. they they like to be yeah called that. Oh, all right. But, what about just like taking some time to go clean stuff up? Like there's times I'll just go out in the garage and I'll just start straightening stuff up out in the garage. Yeah. That can be a good clarity break. Mental yeah. Break. I mean, it's just, just, I mean, I, I say disconnect from work, mm-hmm. but you can actually do work that disconnects you from your work. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, like I went down to my property, I busted my ass this weekend, you know, doing a lot of work, but it was, it was manual labor stuff that needed to be cleaned up and, and cutting a lot of wood and cutting up logs and, you know, yeah, getting rid of a lot of, you know, just junk. And that was work for me, but it was a different kind of work, you yeah. know? So it was like, going going and cleaning up and main, doing maintenance and things like that you know yeah. working on your home have one thing one thing i i thought to myself is um you know a lot of people don't take pride in in themselves they yeah. don't take pride in what they have and what they've been blessed with right it's mm-hmm. so like i i it hit me as i was cleaning up my property. I I was like, wow, I've been really blessed with this property. It's a riverfront property. It's gorgeous down there. It's, it's like my solitude place. And I, I really feel felt blessed to have that, even though it's a lot of work to to keep up with it. Yeah. And then I started thinking, I'm like, you know what? I'm working really hard because I'm, I'm blessed with this place. I'm working really hard to, to maintain it and keep it up. And I, it hit me. I'm like, you know, a lot of times we don't keep up on a lot of different parts in our, in our lives. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whether it's our home, whether it's our employees, whether it's our, our families, you know, like you've got to, you've got to have pride in what you've been given and take care of it. You know, God has blessed us with so much That's and it good. doesn't matter how little or how much you have, just take care of what you've been blessed with. Yeah. I know a lot of people journal as well. Um, so journaling is a good way to kind of take a clarity break, journal about your day. Mm-hmm. Shane is big on, uh, yeah, I was going to say, Kelly, Shana loves puzzles. And she's doing one well right now. It's called the impossible puzzle. I've never seen her take so long to do a puzzle. It's all clear pieces. Like it's all 100%. There's no pattern to it. Nothing. It's all clear pieces. That would drive me nuts. Like, after like transparent, minutes, clear, transparent, clear puzzle. So it's literally just the shapes that you have to match up. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So 
but she loves to do puzzles. She gets that from her mom. That's for sure. But, uh, yeah. Kelly says weekend rod runs, go to a concert with a friend. I like to bake. So I go on hmm. baking frenzies. There well, you go. We need you to send us some cookies or something. I was gonna say, I'm energy. I'll give you my address. <laughs> Rod runs. That's funny. I like that. So they must she have a. She... Looking by the picture, they must have some really, <coughs> like maybe a '57 Chevy or '55 Chevy there, something like that. I like to know yeah, what kind I of. Can't tell really on kind of this vehicle one. They got. But yeah. yeah. All right. Well. We're going to wrap it up, and maybe we'll see Jason next week. I don't know who's going to be my co-host next week. Maybe it'll be Shayna, his wife. I don't mm. know. She's on Friday, I think. Yeah, I invited her. I told you to feel free to bring her. You know, she was kind of, you know. So this time in the morning. I didn't pick her, you yeah, know, she, over you. Like, she gets up at six and like the first hour and a half of her day is her time, right? So she she reads the Bible, she journals, she does yoga, stuff like that. So I usually when I walk by, she's in the, the family room. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> leave her alone. <laughs> I don't by talk the way, to her. The kids like don't 57. Like 50, see? I was, yeah. There you go. Oh, now I see it. Yeah, a little bigger. That was, yeah, yeah that's a yeah. old gasser picture. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, everybody have a great day. Again, Jason, thank you for for indulging me this morning. My I always pleasure. love having you on. Like Chick Fil A uh, says, my pleasure. Yeah, we'll we'll see everybody next week, and uh, I can't remember who's on with uh, TK and Miss Ward on uh, Thursday. So join in with them and. Regional meetup. This name will change. Sure. Um, we've, oh. We're finalizing all of our sessions. It's going to be can like I, a little one day mini conference. In can I give a shameless plug? Absolutely. So tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday, May 24th at 6 p.m., we're doing our next podcast, What's on Your Mind with Jason podcast. And my special guest is Renee Lukatek. She's a professional EOS implementer. She's our EOS business coach at my office help. And she's got a lot of free tools she's going to be giving uh, out tomorrow night. You can live stream is going to be on Facebook, YouTube. So go look, go find my office help on Facebook. That'd be the easiest one if you're uh, running around on Facebook or YouTube. But you don't want to miss this one. If you don't know what EOS is, go download the book. What the heck is EOS? That's the shortened version of it. It's a great, great tool for uh, implementing so much in your business. So. Yeah, thanks for that. Shameless that's going to be a good one. That's going to be a great one. Yeah. I'm going to try really hard to be on that tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah, yeah. you guys, you guys want to want to learn a little bit more from somebody else. I mean, we talk about it all the time here about you know procedures and everything and policies. You want to you want to hear yeah. about it from somebody else? This is yeah. going to be a good one. She's good. She's good. She's a uh, our weekly coaching session with her happens here in about an hour so yeah yep. cool all, all right. right with that right. we'll say goodbye have a good Thank one you. everybody so do i <laughs>